Hey guys, it's Leah. Um, I'm gonna start a vlog channel. This is actually my first video, as you probably can tell. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick background history of my path through YouTube and the channels that I do have. I first started out in second grade when I was nine, which was about five, six years ago. And I started a YouTube channel called Leah's Looms and Crafts and it, then I changed the name to Fabtastic Crafts and I basically did DIYs. I had a very high pitched voice. It's quite cringy. Um, I basically just did a whole bunch of crafts and DIYs but I somewhere along the line from 7th to 8th grade I stopped YouTube. I didn't make any video. Then two years ago in 6th grade I started back, back up a YouTube channel which is actually my main channel right now called Leah Nicole. I am using my phone right now to film because we are traveling for four months. We are going around the whole US. So I live in California. I have my tripod and my main camera but I didn't bring that with me because I thought well I'll just take a break from YouTube. Well I actually really enjoy it. It's one of the things that I do really enjoy. So I'm deciding to start up a vlog channel so you all could see me just what we're going through the four months. I also will be doing like a Wonderless series so I will have vlogs from each state and it'll be put to music and more of that will and this will have music in it too just it'll be more less editing so we have our fifth wheel with us and we are traveling around the US just like I said so we started off in California because that's where I live and we headed to Arizona we were there visiting family for a week then we went to New Mexico and we saw the Carlsbad Caverns and it was really fun and really beautiful and we stopped kind of like in a desert area where they had a campsite and then now we're in Texas. We were in San Antonio and we saw the Alamo and then we went to Six Flags which is actually the first Six Flags I went to which is crazy because I live right next to Magic Mountain so it's kind of cool that my first Six Flags was in Texas. Then we went to Austin yesterday and saw the Capitol and did a tour of that or self-guided tour. Now we're in Waco. We're gonna spend four days here. We're gonna go to Magnolia again. A few things about me so you guys get to know me more and more about like what you'll see on so my blog. I am 14 in an eighth grade. I am no longer at a day school. I am homeschooled obviously because we're traveling for a few months. Um, I have a horse. He is my pride and joy. I love him. I do western dressage, dressage, and I guess western. Um, I pretty much do it all. I have been riding for two years. Um, I again, I have some videos. I'm not experienced. Like out of a five out of ten, ten, I'm like a five, right in the middle. I'm not a trainer, obviously. Um, I love DIYs. I'm working on a bullet journal right now. I'll see you, show you a few clips when I get more into the video. I guess you'll get to know me more throughout the vlogs. That's basically my background. So right now, I'm gonna. As you probably tell, I have no makeup on. So I'm gonna go up to the trailer, do my makeup, I'll film that, and I'll get ready, and then I'll show you guys my bullet yeah, I am outside. Sorry if the video is shaky, I'm using my arm and it's dying. But here is basically the view that we have. I love Hollister, so I will also do kind of like a haul today as you sell this is like one of the shirts I bought it's like I got it a large so it's like really big and comfy and yeah their clothes are just really good so we're gonna go up there and I'll do my makeup my bullet journal do my haul and let's get on to the video so I know the iPhones the camera's pretty good but it's not as good as an actual camera so the microphone the footage everything's gonna be a little awkward but yeah let's get to it we're probably not going anywhere, but I usually use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. But since we're not going anywhere today, we won't use that. We will be using the Tarte BB Cream.
But yesterday we went to the outlets in San Antonio and I really wanted to show you guys what I got because I think it would be fun and you guys get to see some of my style. So y'all are on the bench part of the table and I'm on the ground. Um, so yes. Then um, we went to Hollister and I got, this was five bucks, but it's this really cute, comfy, ginormous sweater. And it's teal, so can't go wrong with that. And then from Hollister, I got this ginormous white sweater. The one that I was wearing earlier, but I had to take it off because it's getting dirty. And that says Hollister, Los Angeles, Sunset Coast. Then I got a pair of slippers because our house is tile and my feet hurt a lot, especially from long days at the ranch. So I got these and actually the other shoe is being used to hold up my phone. So yeah. Then from Hollister, ooh. Then from Hollister, all of their shorts were on sale. So I got this pair of high-waisted shorts and high-waisted shorts and they have criss crosses on the side, which is really cute. Striped shirt, it has a cross at the top. I don't know if you see that, but it's got a little cross. Then I also got this ginormous sweater. For some reason, all of their sweaters are like super big. So yeah, this one's teal or aqua. It's a really pretty color though. Then I got the pair of jeans that I'm wearing. Rocks are really painful, but the pair of jeans I got. So I got this light colored pair that they got grips in them. And then you can see the holes for the pockets, pockets from the inside. They're extra long and they're really cute. People are obsessed with the rainbow flip flops, but I felt them yesterday because I was gonna get them and they're really hard. And I've had this pair for, well, a pair just like it for like five years and they are amazing and they haven't broken yet. And they're just these white pair, black pair of, black pair of flip-flops from Reef. And they're super soft and comfy and they last forever. I got a, just a plain white shirt, a uh, red shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing it, so it's plain, red shirt. I don't feel like taking my jacket off because it's really cold. So, yeah. And that is what I got from Hollister. So, see you guys later because I'm gonna get food. And this is my bullet journal. So, this is, I started off with an index. That's the first page. And I start, started it two days ago, so there's not very much in it. But. And I got here. Oh, yeah. Look how fabulous that looks. Beautiful. Alright guys, it is currently 3.05 and my hair is a mess. My makeup's pretty much gone. But I've been just working on my bullet journaling. So we'll see how well it looks. Um, I just now started hand lettering. I was doing calligraphy. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd see that. But I don't really know how to use the brush pen. So I'm working on learning how to do that. So it doesn't look the best, but it's coming along. So I just have over here featured in the future so basically I have all the months laid out and whatever I'm doing in the next year I have put down here and so far what I have planned is we're going on a cruise in January so it's pretty much all I have planned so far for next year and then for my yearly goals I know it's halfway through the year but I, I still would like to learn these things so I'm working on getting to 1,000 subscribers on my main channel and then I'm going to learn how to jump my horse and then hopefully be able to do a trick on him and then get him completely trained. And I have little cactus stickers down here. And so these are the pages that I've worked on so far. Otherwise it's completely fine. You know why I really love bullet journaling is because you could like completely customize your entire journal. Um, even the front. I didn't do this obviously because I can't paint very well. Um, but I got all my stuff from Michaels. Oh, I could do like a, yeah, I could do a haul. Oh, I could do like what you need for your first bullet journal. I don't have like all the, I don't have a bunch of stuff. I have okay. just like stickers, pens, markers. I have two books for, one for this year and then one for next year. You know what? I could actually do, um, DIY journals because like this one looks pretty easy to do and I know how to make a journal you just use the paint splatters and stuff so comment down below if you guys want to know like what type of journaling you want to do 
want me to show you or like DIYs and stuff like that. But yeah, it's freezing and we're in Texas, so yeah. But oh, in the morning we're gonna go to, hopefully we're gonna make it to the Magnolia Bakery. We'll see you guys later.